what will you say to the Syrians from back home or those overseas that are watching us right now? I would say that I have had the honor to represent Syria and China for the past 10 years. It was a great privilege for me to present, represent my country and my people, to uh, uh, have the opportunity to uh, explain to the Chinese people the history, culture and civilization of Syria and to try to counterbalance the image that has uh, became prevalent in the world media in the past 10 years because of the conflict. Everything we know about Syria is what we know from the media. Is there anything not reported at all that you would like people to know about your country? Look, when there was death and destruction and bloodshed in the streets of Syria, the Western media, particularly the media of the United States of America, Britain and France were happily recording everything and uh, even exaggerating and uh, 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 doing everything possible to tarnish the image of Syria. Now that the violence has receded tremendously and the Syrian people are engaged in a, in a reconstruction effort, are rebuilding their institutions, re revitalizing their cultural activities, their life, their schools, their universities, their hospitals. Despite all the difficulties, suddenly Syria is forgotten. So only when they smell blood, they are very happy to report. But when uh, uh, a country is busily re-engaged in a vast reconstruction uh, endeavor. They just ignore and look for bloodshed or violence elsewhere. How is the situation today in Syria? Absolutely. In the major Syrian cities, except for that enclave in which you have a very large concentration of terrorist groups and Turkish of regular military troops, uh, the rest of Syria life today is absolutely normal. You have uh, schools, universities, people going to their businesses, cultural events, concerts in the conservatory, uh, sports uh, events, everything, just like every other country in the world. Please tell us more about reality of life in Syria, day-to-day -day life. We do suffer from economic hardships because, because of uh, the 10-year conflict. Having said this, we are right now engaged in a reconstruction, uh, uh, um, major, major uh, uh, period, and the economy is improving gradually. And people are just living normally like everybody else. I mean, they, it, if you go today to Damascus, you wouldn't s sense or Aleppo anything different from what you would uh, sense in any other city uh, around the world. Uh, Syrian people uh, uh, have persevered and they have prevailed eventually against those terrorist groups because they understood that had the terrorist groups won that war, it would not be like the regime would be replaced by another regime or another government. No, it would be the dismantling and disintegration of Syria as a country, as a state, as we know it today. So in a sense, they feel today that despite all the difficulties, all the pain, all the, the, the losses, they have won this uh, atrocious attack on them. But I would like to know more about uh, Syria's cultural identity. You have to understand, Syria has a very, very long history, very long history. And Syria also is a Mediterranean country, and it ha it, it's on a crossroad of civilizations, cultures, and, 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 and uh, different influences, which has enriched Syria. Take as an example the religious point of view we have in Syria. All Christian churches that you can imagine, from the Protestant uh, Western churches to the Antiochian Orthodox churches to the Catholic churches to the Syrianic churches, in total 17 different denominations of churches. Hmm? And if you go to Islam, you also have all the factions of Islam represented in Syria. 
This is even you, we have a strong uh, Judaic heritage in Syria. Now, if you leave culture, uh, religion, and move to uh, ethnicity, you would find that Syria has been, throughout its history, very hospitable to refugees. Now, Syrian refugees are, are being treated in nice ways elsewhere, sometimes not very nice ways, but this is not usually our role. Our role, historically, was to receive refugees and welcome them, open our borders to them. So I would say if there is something that I cherish about Syria, it's our diversity. Look at our history. Wherever you go to in Syria, you will find Aramaic, uh, artifacts and archaeological ruins. Uh, probably, you know, we, we Syria is unique in the whole world, but it still has one city in which the people of that city still today speaks the Aramaic language. Jesus Christ used to speak the Aramaic language. This is the original language mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. Yes. Hmm? Uh, you have Greek uh, influences. Greek archaeological sites, Roman influences, Roman archaeological sites, is early Islamic influences. Too many civilizations went through Syria, and all of them left their uh, uh, footprint on, on the Syrian soil. And this is not bad. It has enriched us. It did not tarnish our cultural purity, as some people would say in other countries. Mm -hmm. We are very proud of our diverse heritage. What are your assessments regarding a comeback of a thriving and successful Syria? I am absolutely hopeful and convinced that uh, we will, we will uh, uh, rebuild everything we have uh, lost and we will continue to move forward. You need to understand, I, I agree that there are severe economic difficulties facing us today, but also you need to understand that the Syrian people are highly educated people, mm -hmm. a very high level of education, and they are very hardworking people, and usually in their history they have been always successful. Will there be any chance in the future for us to visit what was once called the most dangerous country in the world? Well, now it's not dangerous at all, so you are very welcome. Of course, uh, those who have been uh, propagating uh, propaganda and who became partners in the bloodshed in Syria are not welcome, and that's very normal. Having said this, any, any, uh, as I said, it's an open country, everybody is welcome, and people go to Syria in, on, on a regular basis now.